Welcome to 10 Minutes Natural Highlights. A pop value in the first six months of 2021 increased by 13.5%. Open in market zero Vietnam Đồng. Socialization in tourism development. Firstly, let's have a look at some other news. The sports value of Taiwan's province in the first six months of 2021 was 13.5 billion US dollars, increasing 13.5% over the same period, equaling to 47.7% of the year plan. Accordingly, the export value maintained the growth rate in all three economic sectors. The central export value increased by 8.5%, local export value increased by 9.5%, and foreign invested export value increased by nearly 14%. The first six months witnessed the growth of some traditional products, including products made from paper, trees, iron, steels, non ferrous metals, and gammon. Recently, the Committee for Ethnic Minority Affairs has issued decision number 433 approving the list of extremely difficult villages in ethnic minorities and mountainous era for the period of 2021-2025. Accordingly, Taiwan has 50 villages with special difficulties in 2020 communes of five districts including Võ Nhai, Định Hóa, Đồng Hỷ, Phú Lương, Định Phú Bình. In which Ding Hua district has 21 villages, Võ Nhai has 16 villages, Phu Bình has 6 villages, Phu Lương has 4 villages, and Đồng Hỷ has 3 villages. The first outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic has great affected labels and employment issues. At the beginning of June 2021, the number of employees in the Taiwan province decreased by about 10,000 over the same period. Inactuous production in the Taiwan province has been restored and stabilized. However, from the end of April 2021, the complicated development of the pandemic in the neighboring province has disrupted the supply chains of key products such as phones and tablets. Many businesses need to stop operation. It was the reason why the number of workers in industrial sectors, especially the foreign invested sectors in the areas, decreased gradually. Recently, during a trip to Fulong District, Ms. Nguyen Thanh Hải, Secretary of Thanh Nguyen Province the Party Committee, visited and increased the new economic model of household in Thanh Thế Hamlet in the commune. There are four houses in Thanh Thế Hamlet's Indo Common Fulong Districts participated in the models of planting dragon fruits with a total area of 0.8 hectares. In which Mr. Chen Guang Tang families is a pioneer in transforming with more than 1,000 trees, giving an average output of 38 to 38 ton per hectare. The average income is up about 700 million dong per hectare. Appreciating the spirit of dare to things, dare to do's, contributing to the movement of hunger, irrigation, and poverty reduction. The secretaries of the Taiwan Province Party Committees, which the agriculture sectors and farmers' associations at all levels, would explain the activities of guiding, capital support, vocational trainings, so that more and more farmers in the areas have good conditions to develop household economy thereby positivity contributing to the general development of the localities and the Taiwan's province. On July the 2nd, the Ministry of Industry and Trade held the nationwide online conference on management and development of industrial clusters to evaluate the current policy system and the role of industrial cluster in social economic development. Mr. Lê Quang Tiến, Vice Chairman of Taiwan Province the People's Committee, attended the online conference. The part time, the Ministries of Industries and Trade has actively advised the central government to manage industrial clusters nationwide, propose and develop legal documents on industrial cluster management, creating a legal corridor for management, and prescribe a number of preferential policies to support the development of industrial cluster. In which Taiwan is one of the localities that have issued investment policies on production and investment projects in industrial cluster, as well as implemented preference policies to support investment in infrastructures, 
attractors and selectors experiment enterprises to be investor. Up to now, Taiwan had 21 overs of certified industrial clusters, just have infrastructure investors attracting 71 production and business projects. Speaking at the conference, Mr. Le Quang Tien, Vice Chairman of Taiwan Provincial People Committees, proposed that the ministries of industry and trade continue to have solution to remove existing difficulties, rectify specific guidance on the implementation of Degree Number 68 on planning, establishment, and expansion of industrial cluster, adjust the planning of some industrial clusters in the area. The province of women's children, in collaboration with the Labour Confederation and VMPT Taiwan, have just opened the e-market Zero Vietnam Dome. It's a meaningful activity to study difficulties with citizens who are quarantined to control COVID-19 pandemic. The e-market Zero Vietnam Dome has a road, the spirit of joining has to overcome the pandemic. Taking place on the 3rd and the 5th of July, X-Market has 60 items including food, fruit, congestion trays, necessities, nearly 2,400 citizens in quarantine areas at the Universities of Technologies, the Universities of Agriculture and Forages, the College of Economic and Technologies log in websites or scan the QR code to choose no more than three products in the market. With a piece of zero dung, the total budget of the program were $150 million that was mobilized from socialization sources. On the open days, nearly 5,000 products were delivered by staff of the provincial women unions and staff in quarantine area. Socialization in tourism development associated with increasing investment in tourism, creating a synchronous and modern infrastructure system. Diversified tourism products is the driving force to make tourism become one of the key economic sectors. In Taiwan, the project of developing Taiwan tourism in the period 2021-2025 with a vision to 2030 has set out important goals and solutions to promote socialization in this sector. Experiencing Taiwanese areas is one of the models to develop tourism that receives attention and participation of Taiwanese makers. In the famous tea areas of Tân Cương, tourists can enjoy tea, participate in the tea production in traditional ways or experience tea culture. Tourists visit my facilities can experience tea making, take photos on tea hill. We also develop some other services to keep them longer. Being considered as the most effective socialization models, Thai High Eco Tourism Village, Zungtan Trace and Tourism Centers, of Flowers Island at Nukuk Lakes are attractive address, attracting tourists inside and outside the province. Together with promoting socialization to mobilize resources, Taiwan government also creates more favorable recognition for people to directly participate in business, raising the sense of responsibilities in tourism development. In order to make tourism become a key economic sector with high and sustainable growth, it is necessary to have more strategy to preserve nature and cultural heritage. Recently, Taiwan's province has approved the Taiwan Tourism Development Projects for the period of 2021-2025 with a vision to 2030. Accordingly, Taiwan strive for an average tourism growth rate of over 10% per year, welcome over 3.2 million visitors. Total revenue from tourists reaches 3,000 billion per year. The Department of Culture, Sport and Tourism has coordinated with the other departments, branches and localities to give advice on mechanisms, policies and solutions on administrative reform to attract investment in tourism, exploiting the typical and unique tourism resources of Taiwan's province. With a rich and diverse tourism potential, preference policies, 
and the active participation of businesses, investors, and local peoples. It is really just two reasons will bring a significant added values for the localities in the future. That's all we have for today. Thank you for joining. Goodbye and see you next time.